Hi there, I'm Jason Parker, Olympic medalist in speed skating from jasonparkerspeaks.com, founder of The Olympian Within, where our goal is to help share with you simple lessons and strategies that you can start applying today that can help you start leading a truly world-class life. And today what I want to talk to you about is I want to go in, in just a little bit different direction based off of one of my vid other videos. Uh, this is one of, another one of just going deeper onto one of my lessons of the 11, one of my 11 lessons to living a world-class life. So this is kind of a, just another perspective onto the, I want you to focus on this, not on that. Okay, this is a, just a different, different take on that same concept. Um, but I, to start off, I want to share with you, I want to share a story with you, a personal story from when I was competing. And I would find, we would find, you know, as an athlete, as a high performance athlete, uh, I would find that we would kind of, uh, we would get into these different rituals. Uh, some, some people call them superstitions uh, or so on and so forth. We get these, basically they're just beliefs that we would create in our mind. And one of those beliefs was that, you know, maybe having one lane was better than another lane. And so what would quite often happen is that, you know, if, if you ended up getting the lane that you didn't want, <laughs> you end up, I, I would end up not having the race that I did truly want to have because I went into that race with the wrong mindset right from the start. So, so what does this mean for you? I know that, you know, you might not be a speed skater, you might, might not be a high performance athlete. Well, basically it, it comes down to this is that I spent a lot of time focusing on the wrong things. I spent a lot of time focusing on things that were out of my control. <laughs> now I want you to start thinking about this. I want you to start thinking about all the things that when you, during your daily life, think about all the things that are going on that you're, you may be worried about, you may be stressed about, uh, you may be just burning a lot of emotional energy on that you don't really have a lot of control over. You know, it might be, uh, it might be somebody, somebody at work, you know, maybe so, somebody said something at work and you're just letting it really fester and, and, and take you, basically take you out of the game and take you out of your work day, you know. So that's not, you can't control necessarily what they said to you. However, you can control how you react to what they said to you. So this is kind of the, the second step to, to what I wanted to talk on today is that, you know, I want you to focus on what's in your control, not things that are out of your control. And I want you to really think about the fact that you can control how you react to all situations. You can't control what happens to you in, all the time, but you can always control how you react. And using another quick example, in, in September of 1999, I was, I was out cycling with a couple of my teammates and I was kind of goofing off and I ended up by, I, I went flying over my handlebars and I landed right on, right on my shoulder and I ended up breaking my, my collarbone in three places. And so, so initially, my first instinct is like, man, why did this happen to me? This sucks, this is awful. My season is done. Um, and you know, I was all, all up in arms and I was all getting all, all freaked out. And, and so that's how I initially reacted to the situation. And after, after about a minute or so, I took a couple of deep breaths and I'm like, okay, you know what? I can't change the situation. I can't change what happened to me, but how can I make moving forward the best way possible? How can I move forward to the best of my ability? You know, I can't change what's happened, but I can change my own mindset about what has happened. And I started thinking, well, you know what? At this time of year, uh, a lot of times I, I had ended up overtrained. So maybe I needed the rest. Uh, so it's just a different shift in perspective. And I ended up that season, I ended up having one of my best seasons that I ever did have, even though I started off with a broke, broken collarbone. So I want you, so your task for today, I want you to really think about, I want you to write down all the things that you tend to focus on throughout the day, uh, be it positive or negative. I want you to, to write down both. And then I want you to make a conscious effort to start focusing more on the things that are in your control and let those things that are out of your control kind of fall away. And then I want you to step two is I want you to write out how can you make the best of that situation. So those are your tasks for today. Uh, I hope that you've got some value. I hope this has really been able to serve you. Uh, this is Jason Parker from the, the Olympian Within, 
and uh, I'll, I'll want you to watch out for my next video because I really truly want to make a difference. I want to share a lot of these amazing things that I took away from, from my career. So with that, I wish you all the best in happiness and health, and I want you to truly go out there, love life, and really live it. We'll see you on the next video.